Let's build a fun automation to summarize an article using the Pareto principle by simply dropping a URL in a Slack channel. Let's build it together. We're going to start with a Slack module and this is going to watch a public channel message. So this is the trigger. This is the first module on our scenario and we're going to have an input channel. If you're getting started with Slack automations or, or really any automation where you're going to be inputting and outputting to the same application, always have an input and output channel or two different places. Otherwise you can have this never ending at loop. So we've got an article input. From there, we're going to be having an HTTP module to actually retrieve this URL. So let's do make request. And the URL is going to be the message that we receive from Slack. So we're just getting a, a URL and we're sending it off to get the content of that website. We're then going to use an OpenAI module. And this is to summarize the article. So we're going to choose create a completion. And we would like chat completion model. We're going to be using ChatGPT for Turbo. And this is where we're going to be adding our message. So we have a system message and a user message. So for our system message, we're going to put in our base prompt. Now I'm going to show you <laughs> a quick automation that I have, which is to help generate prompts for me. And I have a prompt generator input channel on Slack. And I put in a prompt to summarize an online article using the Pareto principle. And then I get a prompt generator output with a sample one that I can tweak as I like. And it gives me a really good starting point using Markdown, separating these sections. So it's got act as a skilled content analyst. We've got a goal to distill using the Pareto principle, some context and instructions. So I think it's a pretty good start. So we're going to pop that all into the system instructions. And then for the user instruction, we're going to be putting in the output from the HTTP module, which I think is going to be data. Once we run it, we'll actually have to see. And then lastly, we want to put that back into Slack. So we want the summary, uh, create a message and we're going to put it into the output channel. <laughs> so article output. And the text from there is going to be the choices, message, content. And it gets a lot easier when you start testing it as you do it. But this should give us a really good starting point. So I'm going to grab a URL and let's get started. So if you've been following the news, crazy weekend with OpenAI, Sam Altman was fired. Is he coming back? We're still waiting to find out, but we've got a, a pretty decent article over here, which I'd like summarized. So I'm going to come to my scenario here and ensure that we have saved it and going to get it running. And we're going to go back into Slack and we've got our article input channel and I'm simply dropping that URL. So I've got my URL there and now we're going to run this automation. Okay, and we've got an error. <laughs> so what is our error? Invalid URL in parameter URL. So what have I sent? So I've actually sent the message instead of, I need to be sending something else. So let's have a look. If you click on the little icon there, you can see what the difference is. So that was just who's joined. So it's the text. So my mistake, it's not the message. We're actually going to be sending the text. So let's try that one more time. And another error. Okay, so <laughs> we've, we've hit a bit of a speed bump, but this is good. This is what happens in automations. So the problem is that what's coming through is the URL with these brackets on each side. We don't actually want that. We just want the URL. So what we're going to have to do is pass. So we're going to just get the text from there. So we're going to use the text parser in um, in Mike, and the easiest thing to do is actually use ChatGPT. Okay, so a little bit back and forth with ChatGPT. I've been told that this is the regular expression that we need to use. 
So in the text parser, I've pasted that there. And the text that we want analyzed is that text that comes through from Slack. And we're going to run this now. And you can see that we get that text with the comma, the brackets, and the output is exactly as we wanted without any brackets. So now we need to change this HTTP module to be running on the URL that we get from the text parser. And let's give it a go. So the HTTP module has brought back the data, which is long string of text. And to be honest, we probably should clean this up a bit. Take, use, again, use a text parser to just try and get the content of the article. As you see, it is quite long. Good thing we're using ChatGPT for Turbo with the large context window. But let's see, let's see what it <laughs> how it does. Okay, so it's finished. So let's see the output. We have a message. Core message, Sam Altman is attempting to regain his position as CEO of OpenAI. Open We've got some key points and a summary and it looks like it has posted it to Slack. So let's have a look. And we have it, yeah. Core message, Sam Altman is attempting to gain his position as CEO of OpenAI. Disperse reported plans to move to Microsoft. Altman and co-founder Greg Brockman have expressed willingness to return to OpenAI. We have some key points and the summary. So this is all set up now and all we would need to do is turn scheduling on. This can run at regular intervals every 15 minutes or every hour. You can simply drop in URLs into that Slack input channel and get a nice summary in the output channel. It's very useful for teams and organizations that want to summarize articles in the exact same way. So hopefully this has been of interest and use to you. <laughs> you did see a, a live troubleshooting as we encountered that problem with the text and how that came out. But ChatGPT is a great resource in actually helping us navigate through these, these problems. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.